Yo, what's up? It's your man Shaq Cook. Season 4 of Keeping Real with Shaquille here, and I got my man Taquan with me. That's good. One of the most talented music artists in the building, in the globe right now. So, I mean, right now we kind of social distancing because of COVID-19. But just because COVID-19 hit us doesn't mean he's stopping his grind. So, bro, what's going on, man? What's going on? You doing good? <laughs> Pretty good, man. You know, man. I'm happy to be out here with you, man. Happy to be out here with my brothers, man. You know? Absolutely, man. Sun is shining, palm trees out here. You know, we living good. So yes, I mean, sir. you know, talk to me a little bit about, you know, the music, man. When did you actually get into doing the music? Well, uh, I started doing music about what, right, uh, 13. I'm like 13 years old. My uncles, I used to uh, listen to them do music all the time. So I really like grabs that from mm -hmm. them. And so, like, 13 years old, I remember me and my boy, we got in the studio, and uh, my first track, I was, like, 13 years old, rapping crazy, like, talking about killing it, all, <laughs> <laughs> all types of stuff. But then, like, you know what I'm saying, I, I grew up and really um, got a passion for it, and now it's more uh, it's more positive, and it's more inspirational, you know, because, I man, I've been through a lot uh, yeah. through that, you know, through that. Yeah, so, man, we actually met in college. Yeah. We were just talking about it like right around seven years ago. Yeah, yeah, you know, man, long time. A very long time. Yeah. And, you know, you went through that whole journey of college and then, you know, you took a, a different route. Right. So, you know, kind of talk about that and how that ended up getting you to where you are right now. Yeah, well, 2013, you know, I uh, went to Liberty University, you know, straight out of high school, 2012. And uh, it was a journey for me, man. Um, I started out, like, just focusing on, like, the football and, you know, but my heart wasn't really there, so I gravitated more back to music. And then uh, I think 2014, you know, it started going crazy for me. In 2015, I came back yeah. to try to, yeah, so I was just, I, I wouldn't say lost, but, you know, I was just trying to figure out what was what was it for me. Yeah. And uh, 2015, I came back and I tried to figure it out back at LU, and it just wasn't that for me. You know, my passion was, was music. and. The only way to do that is like I want I want to do it like myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to do it myself and like, you know, no help. And yeah. as selfish as it sounds, but you know, that I, I want it to be my journey and my, my story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like anybody else who wanted to be. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Well I mean, you know, now talking about your music, you know, where can we, you know, find your music at? You know, is it Apple, you know, Apple Music. Apple I mean, Music, uh Spotify, all platforms, SoundCloud, just type in K U U. D O Z E Kudos K U U D O Z E and uh you can find it on all platforms. Matter of fact, you could Google it and it'll pop right up all links. So guys make sure that y'all go and check that out. So I mean you're talking about you do a lot of positive things now. Mm -hmm. So you know you're talking about positivity in your music. So I mean, you know, what positive messages are you putting in your music? Just to go hard, you know, and, and be limitless. You know, I just limitless. did a um event uh June twenty second in my hometown and the mayor was there and a lot of people was there and I just had to uh, really share my side of the story and really just get people to understand that, you know, just to keep going no matter where you at in life, yeah. like, no matter where you at, as long as you know your worth, you'll be all right. All right, man, so I mean, a lot of people can attest to that. I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to talk about that, but just for some strange reason, can't find a way how to express themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's your message to a, a young music artist that wants to go this route, but just can't find a way how to express themselves through their gift and talent in music? I just say, um, just give it all you got through your music. You know, for me, it's, it's, it's real therapeutic. When I make music, you know, I'm, I'm talking to myself, but you know, it's getting it out of my body instead of just talking to somebody else about it. Yeah. So for me, it's real therapeutic. It's like medicine for me. So like, I feel like if you just put yourself in that mode and just put yourself in that, that atmosphere to feel like it's medicine for you and, and therapeutic you and feel good to you, then just do it and put put it all in there and give it all you got. And you know, somebody gonna feel it. No matter if it's one person or 150 people at that time, but somebody gonna feel it. Yeah, guys, listen, part two coming up next. Stay tuned. What? Welcome back to part two. We have my man Taquan. Kudos. Yeah. Kudos. 
in the building, man. Kudos to you, bro, for, you know, being consistent, not giving up. Yes, sir. But let's talk about right now, you know, COVID-19. Yeah. You know, it's really taking effect on a lot of people. Yeah. In particular, music artists like yourself. You know, you guys get a lot of exposure through shows. Shows are being canceled. The NBA in particular, we can't even have more than 10 people in one set. Right, right. So, you know, kind of talk about, like, how that has affected your music. Well, um... Just last month, uh, I had a show and it got canceled due to, to the COVID-19 stuff. And um, I'm supposed to have another show coming up and I think that's canceled too. Yeah. Or she can't put a date on it or whatever. But it's just, it's, it's slowing down for the most part as far as like the shows and everything. But we still doing the promotion and still doing the features and we still trying to, you know, get everything together. But that that that's, that, that plays a huge part though, yeah. uh, shows. Cause that's that's a lot of money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's, that's a lot of money being being wasted or thrown away or whatever. But um, yeah, it played a huge impact on, on everything that's going on right now. Yeah. So I mean, you know, new project. I mean, talk about your new music. Uh, new single that's getting ready to come out. I mean, you you do have some big things that are going on in spite of COVID-19. So kind of talk about you know what you're doing in spite of that. What's your new music that you're gonna have coming out? Right, I got a new um, track coming out with my boy King Cream. It's called Who That? Who That? You know, yeah, yeah. Me and him, we both from North Carolina, born and raised Goldsboro. You know what I'm saying? Carolina we, in the building. Yeah, for the city, man. We're gonna drop something crazy for the city, majorly for, for us, though. You know, for us, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, we're gonna do it for the city, you know what I'm saying? Me and him, we've been doing a lot of a lot of music since, since day one. And I feel like it's necessary for us to like drop something crazy, something chill. Right. At the same time, humble, you know, but fire. Yeah. And um, that's about to drop soon. You know, we better um, in the next week or two, we yep. better drop that. Well, all right, I, I, I got to ask about this. All right, yeah. so you said the title of the song is called Cream. It's, it's called Who That. All right, uh, Who That, Who That. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, it's featuring King it's, Cream. All right, King Cream was featured on us. Okay, yeah. so Who That. All right, so like, what is this song about, you know? Basically, who was that? Who, who are these guys? Because we know in North Carolina. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially from Goldsboro, you know what I'm saying? Like all on the radio, everywhere. We know in, in Goldsboro, North Carolina, or North Carolina as a state itself, but, you know, I done migrated to the DMV area. Yeah. You know, I done did a couple shows in the DMV area, but still, a lot of people might not know who that is. Yeah, I see. So, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> we trying to say, who, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is making this music? Who is sounding like that? Who got that country twang to him? Who is, who is the people? And we're just basically trying to put that out there so people will ask. You know what I'm saying? Who, who that? So, let me ask you. Who are you? I am kudos. I am a gift to this world. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, the real definition of kudos means like, you know what I'm saying, achievement. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I am that to this world. I am I am a congratulations. I am an achievement. I am an award. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm glory. I'm yeah. glorious. You know what I'm saying? All praise due to God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I am I am glory. I am chosen. And that's why I'm, that's why my name is Kudos. Not the goodbye kudos, but you know what I'm saying? That in a sense too, if you want to, because that means that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you yeah. know, what I'm, saying? I'm going to, I'm going to a higher, a, a higher place. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it could be that as well, however you want to put it. But kudos, I'm glory, a gift. Now we talk about vision. I want to talk about vision just real quick. I need everybody to pay attention to this. All right. So I was listening to this song. Uh, I forgot the title of it, to be honest. We was talking about I had a vision, I only had 10 cents on my name, but I said I had a vision. Mm -hmm. It's not based off the money or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And obviously you have a vision as well. Right. So, you know, in spite of everything that happened in your life in the past seven years, throughout college, ups, downs, job changes, financial changes, mm -hmm. what is your vision? Where do you see yourself in the next five years in spite of whatever it is that you're liking right now? Right, uh, in the next five years, I see me being the boss that that I am right now, just at a high level. You know what I'm saying? Doing doing better things and, and being in a better position, but just being that boss, working for myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Getting my own revenue, you know what I'm saying? Not having to cut you know, ties with anybody else, you know what I'm saying? But getting my own revenue. In five years, I see me being that, being that boss that I'm working to be right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at with it. Now, my last question to you, bro. 
got one thing to say to inspire all the people who are watching, what would that one thing be? Well, I would say this, um, through it all, um, don't follow anybody, you know, Fo follow yourself and follow your, follow your instinct and follow God, what God tells you, not off of anybody else's relationship with God, but your relationship with God, your personal relationship with God, be you through it all, no matter what you do, not if you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, an artist, a songwriter, or whatever you want to do, construction, just be you through it all and do it your way, not how anybody else is doing their job, you know what I'm saying, be you, and that's, that's where I'm at with it. Hey guys, listen man, thank you guys for watching, make sure that you go follow my man Kudos, yeah. listen to his music, subscribe to his YouTube, support him man, he has a vision, he's doing some real big things. Of course, he's from North Carolina, just like your boy Shaq Cook. Yeah, he's yeah. From, uh, yeah. Up, from, up from Henderson. Yeah. You know, 252, baby. So 919, baby. 919 and the 252. Yeah. And we both met here in the 434. So, guys, listen, support my man. And we're going to see y'all next time.